Now before we start blowing stuff up with Zekrom, this out here, we're gonna do Swift Strike Bolt. Double heads! Free GX! Free GX! I'm I was hinting in the Zorark GX box opening that I would be doing this on Friday when it came out. Which, you know, official launch date is the 26th, but at Target stores. Little trick here. They'll have it yesterday. Yeah. Oh, they didn't have it yesterday or today. See? Or at Target. So with the power of eBay, there are very few sellers that will give you the code. I can't find one right now, so I did find one yesterday. That's why we have a Zekrom GX video day. Okay, that's the backstory. Here we go. Well, hello to Rose and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on this menu, I'll be serving you Zekrom GX, a new promo GX card that you can only get in the box. Yeah, with, it's kind of hard to find right now. So let's jump into it. What is good about this card? It's got pretty nice stats for a basic card, more niche attacks. So for you engineers and programmers, give me the essential, what does this do? Or how do we set this deck up? Well, we have a four energy attack and a very good one energy attack. The one energy attack you don't worry about, you just give it a choice, man, and that's 100 damage for 100 energy. Great! That is very good value. The four energy attack, this one's a two hit KO, and this is a one hit KO with the choice, man. But four energies, we gotta pay for it somehow. And we'll be using the new Manetric, which you get in the theme shop. Yep, and Ravambi, which is a pretty easy card to get. Yeah, so that's how you charge it up. We're gonna boost the energy, uh, the damage of a choice, man and the HP with the stadium. So that is the overall look, so in a little bit more detail, and the analogy, Zekrom, tell us about yourself. Here we go, Zekrom. He hates GX Pokemon. Bull uppercuts. If the enemy is a GX, I suppose they're EX cousins as well. It does 70 damage for one energy card. It actually could be any energy, so you can throw it into a, your grass deck, whatever deck you want, just give it an energy card, and a choice man, and that's 100 damage for one energy. Now you can like spam max motion and stuff, which we're not gonna do in this deck. We'll be using something else. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna leave that there. You know what this card does. So what else does he do? Oh, well, he's electric Pokemon. Voltage is a little bit hard to control. And that's kind of what Swift Strike Bolt is. It's four energies, but the damage is random. Okay, so 80 damage. Oh man, with a choice, man, you at least get a two hit KO. At least, right? And if you get one hit, that's 140 damage. Oh great, that's nice. That gets out the baby Garbodors. Uh, that's a guaranteed two hit there. If you have a choice, man. If you have a choice, man, that'll knock out things like Coconut Master in one shot. Oh wow, 170 damage for one hit? That is very nice. And if you get two hits, that's pretty much a free GX there. That's 200 damage. And uh, with a choice, man, that's 230 damage. And if you're lucky, and this Zekrom is lucky today. I don't know what it was, but he was very lucky today. You get free GX attacks. All right, so the final move is GX is like when he goes all in, what happens? You can't block his attack. It doesn't do more damage. Well, actually, let's say this the maximum damage of Swift Strike Bolt, 200. Maximum power, you cannot block it. It ignores all effects. Pokemon powers, actually, they're called abilities. Yeah, effects from attack. Nothing blocks this 200 damage at all. Yep, so it is a surefire KO on stage one GXs and below. So that Zekrom, it's a pretty nice card. I feel like the Lost Thunder expansion is coming tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but real soon. So soon that you would probably want to change this deck up. I know, so we're going to give it the best uh, what it can do. Maybe, maybe. So it has a nice side attacker, Tapu Koko GX. It's like, hey, Donald. You know, if you got a wounded card and uh, Acerola isn't here, it can acquire all its energies, or at least three of it, to go 
Yeah, so this here is just a straight to it KO. It takes three energies, 130 damage, and it can take them from your other Pokemon. Ah, it's got a nice Tapu Thunder GX where you add up all the energies on your opponent's side and does 50 damage each. So that can scale. It's cheaper, definitely cheaper than Zekrom. Easier charge up, and he's going to be your third GX in this battle. Okay, so energies. How do you get all those energies onto your Pokemon? Manetric. This is easy. It's in the theme shop, and we never tried it, so we're going to do it. So it's got a nice, cool ability here. If you go second, and this card's in your hand, I think it has to start in your hand. You can't Ultra Ball it into your hand afterwards. Then you could put it on the field right away. And if you don't, evolving is just still pretty easy. So it has free retreat. That's going to be good for comboing with Guzma. And double charge. You get two basic energy cards from your hand to your bench. So that means to get full value, you need three energies. One to play and two to use the attack for. And if you want that consistency, it's going to have to come from Rabambi. Honey Gather. Once during your turn, find two energy cards. And you see that would go into the Manetric, and you now can get energies very quickly. And also thins your decks from energies too. So, this also does a base damage of 40. Choice man, that's 70. And if you just poke something for one energy, you can have a nice 100 damage follow-up afterwards, or even a 170 damage follow-up, assuming one head. Yeah, so he, it's a two-hit KO combo with your Zekrom here. Perfect, and that's... Yeah, that's pretty much the deck. We have the stadium to protect it from 30 damage. Your Zekrom and your Tapu Kokos. Only basic lightning Pokemons are affected. That's the only one that applies in our deck. So, that is it. That's how our deck fights. We use you to charge energies. We use you to get the energies to charge. And we use these two to fight here. All right, and then if there's a... Oh, actually, you know, you do a little bit of poke damage. So, that's the combo. Is this going to work? Oh, yeah, there's... It's easier combo. There's no overhead. Very little overhead. So, you bet it is. Here we go. Coin flip. Sushi Master, what do you think this is? It's heads. It's obviously heads. I'm just guessing. I know. I know. I know. Darn. Don't worry, Sushi Master. You've earned your retirement. I don't care. <laughs> a guess is a guess. So, we'll be going second, but we might be able to attack first if we start off with that right Pokemon. So, hang on. Might get it. Might get it. Let's play Song of the Storm. It's from Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Ocorna. Sounds like Ocorna, but it's Ocarina. Alright. So, let's see what we get here. Nope. Send the Manetric up front. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And send the Zekrom in the back, starting off with the best draw support in the game. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so... Maybe I can sound like Mr. Burns. X. No, don't try it. Don't, don't, don't do any practice while you're streaming. All right, so let's see what this is. Banana Master, I like ya. How many extra cards did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. And once again, it is another Malamar deck. Hopefully, Liam, it's not the same same deck again. We want, we want to see some variety here, man. Okay, there are DCEs. Oh, I think it might be the same guy. Same Same deck deal. Let me see. Third tail. Do I have a guess? Nope, here? that was Thundercat. Had to check the guy's lucky name. Alrighty then, so DC uh, It definitely is. It's, it's, okay, it's. it's Dang, dang, dang. All these Malamar decks, man. Alright, so are you afraid of it? Yeah, it is a pretty consistent deck because Shining Arceus here, too. Okay, and he was able to shrink his hand dramatically with those double Ultra Balls. Get a Cynthia pool. Yeah, he had to open up a nice big hand there, so uh, we'll try to fight with the disadvantage and make this work. Banana Master up for a little bit hard to retreat, but it's just a switch card. It is just a switch card. Arceus is coming here, and you know, oh man. Luckily, we'll be able to remove that immediately. It's We're going to have to deal with the same kind of deck that we deal dealt with uh, yes last match. So, all right, let's go ahead and load up the Zekrom here. And we got to save these cards because we need them. All right, I'm not going to throw my banana, banana Master down just yet. It's still protected, so... Let me see what I need to do here. I need a Rabambi down. I have an extra Banana Master. I don't need that Banana Master now. The Rabambi is going to go down. It will be a bit scary if it takes some bench damage. Actually, if Ultimate Arrow hits me next turn, I'm screwed. 
I am screwed big time, so please do not hit me with ultimate arrow. It's only a 30 HP Pokemon, man. You got to go first with a big giant hand, so it is a big deficit, but Donald, stop crying. Play! Play, Donald! Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Marshadow, Banana Master? Hi, uh, hello, Fulpai. Welcome back. Our man's turn to double Malamars. He is living the life with his setup here. Two Ultra Balls, Mysterious Treasures, Acrobikes. Gonna have a switch? Uh-oh. Needs one more energy. If he pulls that, I'm in trouble. Because then I'll lose the Cutie Fly immediately. I'm not gonna be able to set it up. So, you know what? Yeah, I took a free prize card off that. Thank you to the stadium. But, let's see what we can do. We're gonna evolve our Pokemon. We need that stadium. We have plenty of these here. I have three more choice bands left in the deck. Alright, Manetric, go ahead and come out here. You can have an energy. You can have this. We're gonna have to charge up the long, hard way, the random way, because this thing's blocking me from setting up my combo. Alrighty then, and you know what? Luckily, I do have, let's see, get another one out. Yeah, this is for thinning. I'm not gonna throw this down. Not when there's a shiny Arceus available here. And luckily, we do just randomly pull these two without the help of our Rebombi. Because you just started first. You had a lot of extra card pulls. And yeah, that just sucked. So, Zekrom's like, I'll take revenge, Donald. They can't hurt us. <laughs> they can't hurt with us with the stadium out. And with Sophocles here, it's like, oh man. Now, now, I'm like, I wish I had Lily instead. It was like, the first time I put this up, now I regret it. So he can't use counter energy. Ultimate arrow only does 30 to this. Like, we don't care about that. So, Sophocles, you know I need the big car pulls, but I also need you this Shining Arceus to die. You know, I'll risk it, okay? However, if this fails, I'm in trouble. I'm not going to take the risk. And I'm not going to take the risk, man. Let's send this out here. We're going to do Swift Strike Bolt. Double heads! Free GX! Free GX! I mean, well, it had it's happening when in one way I don't absolutely don't need it, so we'll just leave that here. Coco is only gonna be able to hurt the Manetric, which is okay. And it's not even gonna hurt the Sekrom at one bit after all, so good. I'm liking this here. I am liking this. Alright, so we, there probably is a shining Luka here. I saw Ultra Necrozma come out too. So we're gonna hope for one of our three Goosebumps to come out so we can uh, nail it there. Alright, he's thinning, he's got a big line of Malamar, but he has no bench space. There's no... Yeah. Alright, gotta go for three energies this time, but the counter energy isn't taking effect right now. Is that, is that a counter energy? Yeah. So that needs to be, be charging up back there. So he can't use Electro Ball. However, he they can do some bench damage to poor Manetric. Okay. So he attacks me. Oh, but he's waiting up for for that there. Okay, to use the to use Electro Ball. I see, I see. I kind of don't want to send another Rebombi out right now. So in this case, I'll just Sophocles here. Toss one Rebombi because you can't get both. I'll toss Apricot Maker because this is a bench damage deck. Okay, we can evolve this here. We can throw safely. We can't really safely throw anything except a new Zekrom out. And I am going to throw a Zekrom. Why is that? Because that thins my hand. Or then, yeah, thins, thins me a bit. And I think that's going to be it. We're going to save it here, and he's preparing. Yeah, he's, he's smart. He's preparing that for a uh, counterattack. So we're going to do Swift's Bolt Strike. Hopefully, yeah, there's one. He's like, I love heads, man. I'm going to give free GXs all day. Let's see this here. It'll do pretty good damage here, but we're gonna have a counter to that move here, too. Yeah, I'm very, very glad the stadium is protecting me from all the bench damage from happening this this match around. Hello, uh, eternal dragons! Oh man, so many dragons. Okay. Are you playing uh Tiny Teeny Donald? Victini? Victini? Uh no, no, I'm not playing Victini this time. Kind of makes sense, right? It wouldn't, wouldn't be such a bad move either. 
All right, so there's actually Banana Master would hurt Zekrom quite a bit too. But we do have a little trick here, which we're going to pull off. And that is, we're going to send our Coco to deal with this here. Yeah. And very luck, fortunately, his bench damage is... <laughs> well, this is the only thing that's hurt here. We can Ace roll that, do something about that. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. Yeah, we'll see what, we, what happens. All right, so I'll play likely play the energy. I'm gonna try to ultra roll one of the Cynthia's, and we'll see what happens. All right, that's gonna hurt a lot. That hurts. I would ace roll this turn if I pulled it, but I don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play this instead. No, do you have a Coco switch? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Send the Coco in. Don't, uh, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't hurt my big buddy. Should I leave the energy on him and just take it? I'll leave it on him. At least he can do something, right? We're done. Alright, then the energy, new energy, fresh energy goes onto here, because you always want to be building your energy count. There's a new Rabambi. At this point, let's go ahead and get the Rabambi out. It's safe. There's no shining Arceus here. Guzma's finally showing up, and we're just going to do Sky High Claw. Now, you know, I might need more of these Acerolas here. Hello, Genestasi. Do you only do trading card game unboxing for promos and codes? You know, I just started doing them very recently. I'm going to try to do more. I know there's an $80 product tomorrow. I was like, is your bank account going to want that? I can, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. So some of the codes yeah, the, are expensive. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll... You know, my goal, I'll tell you my goal so far is try to do one of the new products which come out every Friday. So, we'll try to save enough money for that. Okay, so. Uh, this Friday, was a new product was supposed to come out of Target. But it didn't. Don't know what happened to that. Uh-oh. Malamar getting a one-shot kill. Alright, so we can actually counter him if we have another type of Coca, which we might. We might be able to land the Coco with an Ultra Ball. I don't actually, it might be in the prize store. That could be bad. Or I need to use a um, Rescue Stretcher. I haven't seen that Rescue Stretcher. We'll see, though. We will see. If we can't, we'll just counter with a Manetric move here. All right. Or I could just slap him with my with my Zekrom, but I don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to do that. So Flying Flip. Okay. Let's do this here. I'm definitely going to deal with the Zekrom when I can. This is worth two prize cards. This is a free retreat. We're going to go ahead and retreat as well. We're going to go ahead and thin our deck here. There is another co fresh Coco. If I can pull it with an Ultra Ball or something, then we're good here. So that's for thinning purposes, and we're going to go ahead and use Tapu Thunder GX. Unfortunately, can't do a Rampage Bolt here, so... One more prize card to a victory, so he has to steal it under my nose this turn. So I don't know if, if he can. I just want to... I don't know if he can get five prize cards automatically. He might. He might send out that clutch Lele like uh, last time. Like a last game, and he might uh, do something there. He might. Three prize guards. Move these around. I don't know. Where's that? Let me see. It has a pretty much balance point. That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough, too. Double switch. So that's not that scary Tapu Lele. The, 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 yeah, Tapu Lele coming out. So <laughs> we'll see. Okay, that's gonna sting me next turn. And this is gonna slap everything in, off in his bench here. Maybe he has a choice band somewhere. I'll put a hard face to you. I'll put a hard face to you. I live that. The bench damage will sting. I think I really got it this time. Alright. So, you know... Warless between men, just finish off, end the game there. He let me do that, so. Good game, good game, good game, good game. All right, that's good. Hello, Frog to Frog. 
May I have a wish list or a mail, mail day? Huh? What makes you decide to play in real life? I'm not sure. I gotta think about that. That was something. That uh, was something. What made me, what, what did that? What was the first product I bought? Oh yeah, it started with buying Sushi Master. It's like, wow! I kind of like the feel of this, the look of this. I need to get more. I want to get all the masters. And then we got this card. Then we got going to the box. And then suddenly, uh-oh, I got addicted. Stupid Pokemon. <laughs> that was the chart. You start buying one, then you're in trouble now. So that might be bad for my bank account. So, okay, moving on. He's calling the coin flip. Are you psychic? Let me go first. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's play Megalovania from Undertale's my cover of Order Man. Zekrom! Welcome to the party. Up front and personal. Hopefully that's a GX card up front so we can actually see a bullet uppercut here. He's going to be playing Metal! Which I do have some of my Pokemon have resistance against here. I think. I don't know. We don't know what Dex this is. So! What do you got? You know, there's only one Metal deck. You know, I, I remember the metal box I did. They had Necrozma, the Holga, uh, the new Celestia. It could be something similar to that. It could be Scizors too. Some sort of thing. Bank Zone just works with everything here. It's Tapu Hehe. It's Coconut Master. All right, Coconut Master. So that's gonna pull probably a Lily. Probably a Lily like this. For me, I can only really get rid of two cards, but I still would probably get full value of Lily here. Lily's completely replaced Bridget here. It's like, oh yeah, Donald. This ain't gonna live. This is Donald can't kill me in the first move here. I was like, I wish, I wish that Coconut Master started up front so I can slap it for 60 damage. But, you know, this is the key. We you gotta try to hunt these down as much as possible. He's like, I'm gonna make it a spare. Uh-oh. Dairy Masters included as well. So that's a lot of draw power here. So we got Banana Master. We got Choice Man. We're gonna throw a Choice Man because man, if don't we need that big, big burst pull with this here? You know, we could actually use that. All right, let's pull the energy. We see we have a Rabambi in my hand here. So this is going to be the first card that comes out. And we're going to go ahead and pull out a Electric. Does I need that to get head energies faster. I really should be starting with Electric, but that's how it is. 10 damage. Great. Great. Now you see my hands full of draw supporters. We're going to send the and try to get a better selection of cards here after we were Bombi. Yeah. I'll probably just pull an energy on the hand. It doesn't, actually, I'll probably save that energy up. I'll save the energy up. I really need Electric to come out right now, too. Okay. Going to replace that stadium immediately. We had to throw down our stadium because, uh, well, stuff. Uh-oh. Going to Rare Candy. Going to get a turn to Magnezone. Uh-oh, he's been storing up energies. Yeah, he can get them all back here and try to one-shot. He needs four energies to one-shot me. Uh-oh. We're gonna Cynthia. We're gonna Lily. Lily for a whole big giant hand. Did you pull? Oh, man, with the Berry Masters to pull. That is kind of, kind of scary. Fortunately for me, you yeah. know, I do, have, I, I do have Banana Master. I do could could spend that bench space, so I hope he doesn't get too lucky. Yeah, that is a one-shot KO on me. He did not. He did not. We got lucky there, guys. We got lucky. Good. So now I have to destroy two draw supporters here. I'll throw tight lies off. We're going to get Benetric up because it can evolve here, too. Alrighty then, before I, I can now, you know, try to charge up my Pokemon here. If I have a Switch card, I was looking just for that, buddy. I'll switch it to the Benetric. I'm not going to poke him for our Pokem yet. We're going to Lily first. You know, let's play Lily. Save the Cynthia's for later. We'll put energy uh, here. We're going to go ahead and use Honey Gather. Activate this is gonna thin my deck a bit draw these here and it's gonna help me charge up this so I can one-shot this here Well, actually I go for the back lines though All right, so I think that is it I'm not gonna play ultra ball because I kind of need all the cards in my hand here and we're gonna do double charge All right zap now what's gonna be very bad if he can Guzma and get my Pokemon out here So I'm gonna go ahead and say done 
and click on this. A little bit extra steps there. Wow, this could be a quick game. Yeah, safe. You didn't get the brass cards quickly, but we need to shut this down. This is like the key to everything. So I don't care if I'm going to die, die. I lose, you know, my Zekrum. Actually, I do care. I do care. Either way, I, this has to go. This has to go. It has 148. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. There's a timeless GX here as well. Right now, Full Pie can't get another Magnus Stone down. This is the critical centerpiece of his deck. So that's why I have to get, take it out. I have to take it out. He's not confident to charge up his uh, Dullwing to cross me here. He's going to pull out Banana Master. And he's my overclock to get get start things going. Okay. We're going to go ahead and attach the energy on. Here, I believe. I am going to Guzma the centerpiece of his deck out now. I'm going to drop this down because, well, that's for thinning. Now, I am going to just pull two energies anyways because I don't want to draw them as a draw on my next turn. So, let's, uh, let's, we just always do that. And we need one heads here because I don't want to, I want to save my GX attack for a GX Pokemon. So, I need, how many heads, actually? One heads. It might screw me over and that's like RNG, man. So, what, what gives you good luck? It's like, oh, no, no, that was great. No, 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. That's going to give me good luck. It's like, wow. He... Free GX, Donald. Free GX. I'll give you two more kisses. That's what you do for your good luck. You kiss your Barry Master. You kiss the heck out of Barry Master, and he'll get do that for you. All right, so now he just needs to play in the one energy and counter me with this Sun Eclipse GX. And I, you know, you're going to get that energy. It was like he was waiting for that to happen. So, Barry Masters, that will definitely help big time with his uh, pulls here. So, I'll lose all four of my energies. That's going to sting because look at this Sun Eclipse, 250 damage. All right, not only he'll be able to keep his energies too. So, it's going to be it's going to be scary. And Mallow, oh man. With these, with Mallow and Zora, you can. That is precision control. That is precision, precision control. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Stop it, stop it, Donald. We do have enough energies. Enough energies to do pull something off soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and try Cynthia, and you know, hopefully we get some nice pulls here. I don't, actually don't have the Cynthia. I don't have half, pretty much all the cards I need in my hand here. So, so he's probably gonna try to load up a new Mag Zone. That precision control from Barry Master, scary, 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 scary good. Look like, here, Donald, you're stuck with Banana Master. You're in the 18th century, dude. Or something like that. Yep. It's like, nope. You could have got a GX. My Pokemon. But you went for the Magnezone, and I don't even care. I'm going to have a fresh Magnezone the next turn anyways. Still, that is still the centerpiece. If I can Guzman again, I probably would. All right, so now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna send out this guy here. Our hand is pretty good. My hand's pretty good, but I wanna be looking for some Guzmas here. So I'm, this, I don't really need anything here. Let's go ahead and do this instead. All right, let's go ahead and thin, uh, thin our deck a bit. Let's see, can we evolve anything? Evolve a new Rabombi. So that's just for thinning. Always leave a bench space open. And we can get it later. I think that's it. Here we go. This is to help thin again once. Okay, he has very limited energies left. Double charge. Two energies here loaded up into a Zekrom. I might have, that's kind of bad. I don't have that many energies left then. Are they on the, must be on the prize, there are three energies in the prize card now. Uh-oh. He's like, Dalt, Magnazone, losing a Magnazone was nothing. He should have been trying to go for my GXs and stuff, and now he can pull off his whole combo all over again. Oh, man. And this is still holding enough energies to kill me. It's hard to fight this. Yeah, it's hard to fight this. All right.
Let's see what Full Pie does here. That's kind of expensive to use this. He might, he might just wait. You know, let me make the move first and try to sink all my energies. That could be pretty scary. Mmm, I would like a new the Guzma now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Donald, maybe, maybe, maybe you're feeling jealous. Maybe, maybe you should put a uh, three. Wow, there's a th three set of banana mat. Man, that's, that's cheapo. There's a three set of b berry masters in that. Ugh. Okay. It's, looks like a tag team one. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, man. So there are no more energies left in my deck. Let me see. There's four in the discard, four in the field. That means there are two in the prize guards. No, there's one in the prize guard. So that's a little bit scary here. So pretty much, I'm not. This is the last energy I have. I'm probably not gonna be able to attack with a Coco. Yeah, I can if I pull that from the discard. Meteor Tempest. Now we really want to get rid of the stadium because that's his major way of getting energies back here. I'm gonna send this card out. Just go with it, man. Get rid of that stadium of his. Knock it out. But with the double berry master pool, that's hard. So really, we're so hard to fight against. All right, so we'll do this here. We also got some banana master pools on our side. However, all right, let's go ahead and pull these two cards. See what they could be. Is it going to be a Guzma? It's not going to be a Guzma. Otherwise, I would try to Guzma that out there. Well. Well, that just happened. We can't get this. Now, Guzma is here. Now, Guzma is here. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and thin them once again. Pull this out. And in this case, we are going to go... Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything left in my deck. Hope you got no more energies left. So after this goes down, I will have to forfeit. There's just no way I can attack. Can we just use bullet uppercut for fun? There's 90 damage now. It's not enough. It's not enough. This should be enough. This should be enough. One heads, one tails. A little bit more, uh, more equal there. Oh, okay. And I'll go ahead and take these two. Electric. Now we're gonna convolve you. Cool. Tapu Lele comes out. Oh man. Oh man! Well, Zekrom, you might die if he pulls. If he if he gets enough, well, he's got four extra card pulls. That's crazy. That is so crazy. That's why I always always fear these. Okay, it's like ah, oh, your banana masters doing. They can do something. They can do something. I just haven't done it yet. All right. So right here, we're gonna hope very badly that he does not get enough. That he doesn't get enough to uh, load up his Pokemon here to attack. That I can live one more turn. Otherwise, you know, you guys know, this is all my energies I have here. And this would end, uh, you know, oh yeah, this would end everything. So, I don't think even I have even used this here too. Trade, get a bunch of energies. This could even be retreat. And you could just need three energies for, uh, yeah, three energies for Meteor Tempest. And that would be that. That would just be that. Okay. That's two energies, man, so I'm pretty sure the third one's there. Just gonna let the world well played now, because I can't fight back against that. I lived?
I now have a Guzma in my hand. I can kill anything I want. He does have another KO on here. He just needs to load up an energy. This is why I'm not gonna Guzma here. He can still do 90 damage. We do not have the power of Berry Bastard. But we do have this power. We have the power of Double Banana Masters versus the Double Berry Masters. I'm not gonna let him take the chance. Let's take a chance and let him take that there. Tapu Thunder GX. I need one more prize card now. However, well, I don't well, how can you get that last prize card here? He's gonna be able to summon energies and load them on to, I don't know. He has already used this GX, so there's no timeless coming at me. How do you have two Zekroms two weeks early? It came, it comes out in a Target. <laughs> in Target, it comes out, uh, yeah, Target, co Target comes out, uh, today. However, I didn't see any today, so I don't know what, what was up with that. If he have his Guzma, he sh take the two prize guards. Let's make it hard for him. Let's make it hard for him. I'll place this down. I'll place an energy here. I'm, I'm already as Acerola. I'm worried as Acerola. I'm gonna goose with this, because I'm a little afraid. I'm gonna send Zekrom out now. There's nothing left in my deck. The pool is there. What's left in my deck is just a look. This is just a look. Alright, we're gonna do Bullet Uppercut. Get a two hit KO on this. Wow, that did more damage than expected. 70. Oh, we can do 70? So we're trying to get our last prize card this way. Full Pie still has to get two more prize, three more prize cards here. Three more prize cards. Okay. Trade. He's gonna draw a deck out now, I believe. I'm holding a Guzma to my hand. He's gotta judge that away. Rescue Stretcher can bring anything back up now. Not sure what though. Alright, so he's not gonna deck out. Never mind, never mind. Still have a little bit of time here. Alright, so he's gotta retreat, which, you know. Definitely doable. Definitely doable. Dang it! Dang it! He had to have that card. He had to have that card. Let me see if I have another Guzma left. I think I do. I only do 100, so I can't two-shot him. And he can go for that. Man, full, I thought I almost had it there, full buy. Nope. 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 Denied, Donald. Denied. You got denied. You got denied by full buy. We're gonna do bullet uppercut, one to one. One prize card to one prize card. Clutch last minute potion. Oh, okay. Gonna pull baby Pokemon out. 
Nah. Nah. Oh. You're a jerk, Popeye. You're a jerk. Okay. I will leave a B. That was that was a good match. My losses there with the Ultra Crossma made me a little bit more upset, but I did hold on for a little bit longer. Okay. Or Tails. Do I have a guesser here? Mary Master. What do you think this is? Heads. Pick heads, Donald. You got it. Mary Master. Heads. Okay. No problems, man. No worries. You're not going to eBay. Not like scissors. Anyways, anyways. Oh, we can actually use a uh, Manitra got to start, too. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to play my cover. This is Jolly Rogers Lagoon from uh, Banjo Kazooie. You're like, what's that? All right. Well, you can automatically evolve this, so why not? It's free. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, so now we just need lots of energies in our hand to get the electric start value out of this. And he actually goes first. So let's see. Let's go ahead and throw this down here. And that is actually a very good start. It's good because I have pretty much every one of my Pokemon I need out. So, all right. We're going to use Manetric to afford damage. to get you anywhere. But it's got free retreat. So it's going to work really, really nicely with, um, let's see, with Guzma. Yeah, because then you can just use a Lysander, and it's just nice to have on your bench somewhere. Bonus energy. It pokes and chips away at the enemy Pokemon. So we're also going to be opening with Cynthia. So, man, I got to draw some water. I am happy about that. So my cup is blocking away by Twitch chat. I'm moving a while. Oh, man. No space in my desk, man. I got to reorganize this. Hello, Ethiot. I'm French. You make me love training card game. Thank you for your video. Gold medal frying pan. <laughs> Still got that. Oh, man. You were there for that video, huh? Yes. Well, we'll get the metal frying out. We'll get the metal frying out here for you, man. Okay, so, Zekron deck. Yeah, this guy looks pretty tough, though. Actually, I'm, is this Ultra Deck Grass or is this Shining Lugia? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see here. So, I can't Lily in my first turn. This is my turn one, so Lily's gonna give me five cards, and I get to keep every card in my hand. So that sounds good. I like that. All right, I got the Aether Paradise here. It looks like I wasn't able to land. Let's see, I don't need another one of those. I think I need a bunch of Cutie Flies. Or Banana Master. I just need really one Cutie Fly to get full value. Let me see, there's two Rabombies. So Banana Master, uh, you know, I just, I just need you to have you around here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're not going to even toss that electric down. We're just going to do electric start because you don't need three of them in there and nor can you evolve three of them there. All right, so if if he doesn't retreat this, which he, sh you know, he might. I mean, three Malamars are better than one. Then uh, I can get, get away with this. All right, escape row, forcing a switch. In that case, you know, this card does have a free retreat and it should survive unless he's doing something freaky. Yeah. All right. So, cutie fly, you better evolve quickly, otherwise you will die. Oh, okay. So, my damage is pretty low. I didn't get any more energy. But would Rabambi, when Rabambi evolves, I should, you know, be clear of that. And this stadium is protecting him. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he's got Malamar. Could be the Shining Lugia. It seems like we'll see. We will see, but right now I need to charge my Pokemon up and looking at this We'll see wow two energies up already. Well in this case this Pokemon can actually Kill me this Pokemon can't And it's only gonna hurt hit the these guys here. All right, so let's hope that I can evolve Let's hope that you can evolve otherwise that's a free prize card for my friend here I mean you're not my friend, but you know what I mean all right, so we don't need a choice, man. I don't see anything that can, you know, be worth it there. This, this is, Nest Ball is a means to an end. And we are going to get the Rabambi, but I probably should try to retreat that first, right? Because it's a free retreat. You evolve it, it's got a, it's got a retreat cost to it. All right, so let's go ahead and evolve this here. And this is going to further combo. I could throw this down. This could take some bench damage on me, too. So this thing will protect it. That's going to suck. If I throw it down, do I really need it down? I'd rather save for a Cocoa or something. Yeah. So, before we do that, we're going to do... I just only want one. I don't want to fill up my hand too much. Or maybe you want to have one to play next turn. Yeah, that's smarter. And you also thin your deck. Okay, I'm getting it down here. So, we're going to do a double charge here. Just attack this here, because this doesn't really have anything to fight with. 
Here we go. Zekrom GX, you look like you're ready to be done. I have to done, right? And I have to choose a Pokemon. Both of them go in the same Pokemon. Is that how it's doing it? To one, yeah. The text is very specific here. Hello, doll. Any plans for the weekend? I know it's pre release this weekend. Nothing, you know, majorly Pokemon related, though. Why did you do that? Who are you going to send now? I mean, this is sort of a semi waste of bench space for me. And I can't ace the roll next turn if I really want to. It's also being protected by this, too. So we look, you know what? Let's get an escape rope. Let's get three energy. See, is he going to try to psychic? Because psychic, I'll oh, live. That's going to be pretty funny. All right, so we have to deal. We have to squish a bunch of this. this is Shining Lugia. It does have weakness damage against. Uh, I do have weakness damage against it. So that's going to be good. I do have some ace rollers to try to outlive him. So, let's see. Once we get our Guzmas, we're going to try to go for the bench line in this. It still looks like a tough battle. So, let's see. What's Psychic do? I think he's going to go for a Power Blast and take a prize card. And then I'll just sink his Deoxys afterwards. Right now, the Malamar line is up and you want to... Yeah, well, Guzma, you come, you can come help me if you can't want to. Because I kind of need it. Power Blast. Take a prize card. You could have sent something else. Well, it's okay. Zekrom, you can go ahead and do the... You know, it's your show, man. Oh man, you don't have a flipped any for this. It's okay. Double banana master power? Sure. Sure. Here's that last energy you need. Let's go ahead and use instruct. Get me under actual draw supporter right on cue. So we want to save this spot for a uh, certain other GX that card. And then we'll save the Acer Roller here. So this is all good. I am just going to activate this to thin. You know, now I feel like I got a lot of energies. All right, so we just need one heads. All right, you know, one heads is not that bad. But you might have Donald Luck. Okay, two heads is great. Two heads is absolutely great. That just did... Uh, did you do... A, you did 200 damage. Well, that's how much your GX does, so I got a free GX there. I think I better pepper this bench a bit. Okay, sounds good. Uh, what does this do? We can do 160 damage. However, I'm being shielded. My basics are being shielded. These are not basic stuff, so he's not going to hit me too, too hard here, I believe. Yeah, Judge. He's like, Donald's got lots of cards. You think I have a lot of cards, but you don't know if I'm actually good or not, so that's the deal. Hola, Smelly Potato. Welcome back. That's his name. All right. Mr. LG, the original. Hello there. The grapes and streaming. Don't send them them now now. Good best value. That's gonna sting, but that ain't gonna kill me. Alright, so that's that. So now this is where I wish I had an Acerola. I wish I had Tapu Coco. We're gonna try to find it. There's no reason to play any of these cards here. Banana Master, I'll just throw this to Finn, man. Because I probably have too many energies in this deck. Alright, let's play this. Let's, we can get a Coco, we'll send him in. We do have Acer Roll Up, but it came a little, we, you know, at an awkward time. Alright, you know what? It's probably too late for that uh, Coco. So I'll go ahead and send this up here and just fill it up. I know my bench space will be freed after this. So we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to thin. I'm going to thin so I don't draw an energy in my next turn. Yeah, then after that, we'll have to charge up a fresh uh, fresh guy here. So, is there, you know, there might be a chance I might need to use my GX. I'm go ahead and use uh, this here. It doesn't matter heads or tails. I do have weakness damage, so luckily that just came through, and I'll just take a prize card. However, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to trade. It's a good deal trading prize cards. All right, so he sends this out, but he definitely can retreat that. Oh, man, he got this, the stadium that I'm, I'm semi-afraid of. All right, now Guzma's here, but I'm not ready to, you know, do anything. Yeah, actually, I am ready to do something. Let me see if I want to Guzma that out. And let's tack it. Poke it. It'll kill me, but... I actually don't need to. I might go for the Enke, because that's actually a prize card, so that would be worth Guzma. A uh, Guzma, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so he's going to finish me off. 
And if this does not evolve, actually if it evolves, I might be able to get it. Okay, I won't. I will take definitely take the prize guard though. All right, so well, we will see, man. We will see. However, if I do play the Guzma, the pain, I'm gonna have to feel the pain through the uh, this guy here, and I really need that stadium. All right, so we'll see what's up here. Uh, Arrow Force, what's the move, Donald? Is the move to? S well, this I can't get this. I can't take a prize card. I might just do that. I need another stadium to you know lower my damage up. It's like, why is this sitting out? You'll see. You'll see, you'll see. Place an energy here. We're gonna goose my this out. We're gonna try to take a prize card. And we're gonna rip Bombi because. Okay, well, I thought. I was... Now I don't definitely need all the energies here. So I'll take a prize card because prize cards are valuable. Here we go. We're gonna do double charge. Take a prize card there. And we're gonna charge up one, two. And they're gonna go on to our Zekrum. All right, timer ball. Now I have a lot of junk in my hand. All right, so you're not gonna survive Shining Lugia here, and I'm gonna. Well, I need to get rid of the Shining Lugia ASAP. Let me see what I can do with this. I could send in my Coco, but I might have to wait up on that. It does do a lot. It does 160 damage with Arrow Force, so I'm a little worried there. And this be able to copy a GX, my, my Swift Bolt, and that's going to hurt me a lot, too. All right, so, dang, we got to do this one day, man. We got to do this one day. Okay, it says zero. Mm. You guys are here. Yeah, you guys are here. We're here, we're here. Okay, bench. Bench poke. I'm going to play it safe, okay? I'm going to destroy some cards I definitely don't need here. We're going to summon in a fresh Coco. Hang on to this. No, I can just send it in right here. Yeah. Take the energy out Banana Master too. Don't take the any on Zekrom yet. All right, now if I can get rid of the stadium, this will be awesome. Yes, I can get rid of the stadium. Excellent. That was good. Let's go ahead and do Honey Gather. You know, just take that out of my deck. What's left in my deck? Jeez. Okay. I don't think I need to use a pal bat here. I don't need to use uh, Sky High Thunder as well. Let's go ahead and take a prize guard. This is getting a this is a pretty close match. One prize, a fresh Coco, very good to help our wounded Pokemon. We have Acerola. We may be able to just do that later. Yeah, yeah. So, Dre's in the game, or do you have any means of energy recycling not in this deck? Should you add maybe one or two? One? Yeah, I think so. I think so. So let's see here. This thing. Dang it, now he needs a choice man to get the KO here. If he doesn't get the choice man, we're gonna be very good because getting a one hit KO with a Shining Lugia, great, tremendous, tremendous value. So that's what we were hoping to, uh, oh man, don't don't pull that choice man. If I don't have a choice man, I'll definitely survive and that's gonna be a big deal because I'll just Acerola and I don't want to give him any prize cards whatsoever. I actually may not have enough energies too. We'll see, we will see what we do with this. Actually, I could go in and take his energies, and that would, that, that would actually work out as well. So, or you could just trade it off. But don't have a choice, man. Do not have a choice, man. Because I cannot survive a choice, man combo with uh, with the shrine. I was hoping he was not holding on to a shrine, but that did happen. And that's just the game. That's okay. You got luck. Luck is part of the game, so you, you did get lucky, but that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. All right. He wants to trade to mimic you. Okay. 
I'm gonna survive. I could ace the roll of that, but I'll lose all my energies. I'm not gonna lose my last attacker off that. So I'm gonna save that. Unless he can get a double KO somehow. Alright, let's grab Guzma. Let's grab Cynthia back here. I'll go ahead and play Apricorn Maker. Because I do need to thin, thin my deck here. And he's like, why? Well, there are just a bunch of dead cards in my hands that I need to toss out like this. And I'll just go ahead and thin my hand out as well. Pull this out. Oh man, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of extra space. So we're going to go ahead and use, you know, we'll save our GX. Get one more prize card here. Take that. And hopefully Zekron can finish the game. Like, he can't get a triple KO. He, I hope you don't get a, like a, yeah, triple KO here. Or double KO. Oh, he had the double KO. He has a Lele for a double KO. Well played. I saw, oh man, right at the last second. Right at the last second. You know, he deserves it. I'm going to let him take that. We're, we were at one prize card, so he knows what. Yep, yep. Do what you need to do. I'm going to sit here and just cry. You, you, he got it. He got me. Still a good match, though. One prize card away, man. One move away. But I gotta be a man and sit through it. Now I got my grave, so I got my food here, but... Yep. GG. GG. Alright. Well... Looks like you made it to the end. Thank you. Congratulations. It is time we rate the deck. So, let's break it down. All right. Zekrom GX, what do you like about you? You very niche attacks. Yeah. They're for more specific situations than the general attacker. You're going to get some GX Pokemon. Bullet Upper Cup is great. And that would fit many other decks too. Or, yeah. And Rampage Bolt, good against something like, um, what's that called? Dawn Wings, the Crossma, Things with Shields, the new Shuckles, Hoopa, very specific. And right now there just isn't that lightning box that isn't out yet. Yet. So, uh, okay. And uh, it's for a normal attacker. He's like, man, I do things cheaper. Pretty much for one less energy. So it's, you know, it's for specific reason where you would put your Zekrom in your decks. It's a 4 out of 5. It has its uses, but it's not a general use Pokemon. It's a little bit more expensive for that. Damage, I'm going to give you a 4 out of 5. You are mostly going for a 2 hit. Your first attack, your second attack is a 2 hit. But there is a 1 shot KO in this uh, kit. And you're able to chain that 2 hit with a Benetric. 1 prize card into a Zekrom, into a GX. That could be pretty powerful. So I'm going to give you a 4 out of 5, because you got some one-hit power somewhere in your kit. Uh, 3 out of 5 for defense. Score ready. This thing has pretty low hit points. This thing's even has lower hit points. Luckily, as you saw, the stadium can help out a bit, bring it to the stage one level. And that kind of definitely helps out certain things. And so we'll give you 3.5. This stadium can go away. Your opponent can remove it. It does removing your shield. Then you're in trouble. Okay, so that's why well, there's a little bit of score taking off there. Reliability, it's a 4 out of 5. You don't have that magic Berry Master but cargo combo. And even though the overhead's pretty little, basic, uh, stage 1, you do need a bit of a setup with these. You need Manetric and you need Revambi. So both of them have to be available together. Otherwise, it's a bit iffy. And four energies is a bit of overhead, so you can see it takes a bit of work, a little bit of extra luck. Overall, it can keep up, so it's a four out of five. Not going to take too much away from that there. So, final rating, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five. I mean, we got close, so close, so marred. Uh, so, I think that I would just want to wait for Lost Thunder to help boost this deck up. I mean, you're a little too early. Like, hey, I'm a new lightning Pokemon. 
Who printed DC attacks? Where are all the lightning cool tech cards? Next expansion? Yeah, you're a little too early, buddy. I mean, November 2nd's when all the nice lightning stuff come out that could help this deck. So, mm, all right. So we have to give you a little bit of score. I'll definitely give you an upgrade. Your score will definitely go up when the next expansion comes out. And we'll probably see you around because this bullet upper cup is pretty good. Yeah, I might see it in like a fire deck. Like, hey, man, that's a, one, that's a very good one prize attack. We just boost it more with that electric power card. All right, so that is enough for Zekrom GX. Now, if I did do the box opening, I would like to do Rashiram next because you do get Rashiram as a card with your Zekrom. Yeah, so you know what? Even though I didn't do get to do the box opening, I would just do Rashiram GX next because Zekrom, Rashiram, you know, they kind of fit. You get them both. So yeah, getting two copies or two codes is all you need, and they're both really strong GXs. Well, this one's much more generic one than the Zekrom. So, and you already seen it, we're just gonna upgrade it. Upgrade it, make it better. So, that is it for now. Time to close this out. Please, like, subscribe. I got more good things coming for you. I stream live on Twitch, so you just have to follow me to catch when I'm live. Have you support me on Patreon, Twitch? Thank you very much. Helps out a lot with everything I do. A Discord link right in the description. You can find find me there. It covers on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. They're gonna be there. So that is it for now. Thank you on the girls of friendships. Take it easy, stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye bye.